Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the Pacific Rim movie Ultimate Striker Eureka. If you're trying to pick this up, it is available right now. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to NECA Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the description below. Very cool packaging over here. I really like that we get the specs right there. He's killed 11 knife head apparently. And then on the side you can see that we get Shrek Eureka. And then on the back you can see a very cool image right over there. Then you can see all the functions and accessories that he comes with. Then on that side not much more going on. Not much more at the top and not much more at the bottom. On the inside you can see it's held together with this velcro piece. You can see the figure right over there looking really cool. Then we got these blueprints sitting right over here and written in Japanese. I can't really tell. Anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the ultimate striker Eureka out of the packaging. And this is is an amazing figure. I love this thing. I love these missile effects right over here. Those look great. I like the added features that we get with the Ultimate Striker Eureka. We also get some fantastic paint apps and great sculpting. A lot of added sculpt work compared to the first Striker Eureka that we had gotten. I really like the 18 inch version too, but I'm thinking this one might be my favorite. It just looks so badass. I really dig this one a lot. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the Ultimate Striker Eureka. Eureka. So here's our accessories that come with the Ultimate Striker Eureka. Uh, you can see right here we get the fins or the exhaust pieces right here that you just attach to the back and they have this distinct shape right over there that plugs in very nicely. So I just wanted to see how, or I just want to show off how that goes in there. Whoop, I just knocked off one of the blades but you can just plug those right into the back over there. And then looking right over here I really like how this chest piece came out with the launchers. That is so sick. I'm loving the silver paint over the black. That is fantastic. These hinge pieces don't actually function. I kind of wish they did, but at the same time, they don't really have to. It's just so realistic looking and so well done that I wish they were. And even the deco on them looks really good. Actually, this is the way it rests, right? Yeah. You can see, oh, what was the name of the pit bull's name? I can't remember the name of the doggy. Then you can see that's how it plugs into the chest piece right over there. And then looking at the missiles themselves with this awesome fiery effect is just fantastic. I love this translucent orange that we're getting over here. This is sculpted out very well. I'm really digging this a lot. These are super cool and I like how they have, you know, the different lengths and everything. So I don't know, I had it set up earlier so that it was like one, two, three, but you could change this around. You could plug them into any of these ports as you wish. You know, whatever setup you want on these, you can do it. So I think that's really awesome. And then lastly, we have the payload right here. Yeah, look out, the nuke. This is very cool and I like how these kind of wiggle a little bit. They just hinge just a tiny bit up and down on here. They look nice with this beige colored paint right there around the edges. You know, you got that nice red right over there. And then it just ports in the back of Striker Eureka. So you can see we get the port right there. And we just plug that right in. Let's see, come on, come on, come on. See. And that goes in there pretty, fairly easy. You know, not too bad. I wonder if I have it upside down though. It actually feels pretty secure, but just to see here. Yeah, I think I may have had it upside down. I think that looks actually a little bit better. Yeah, so that's very cool. I like this. I like having this. And then we just take the regular chest piece and then just port that in right over there. Now looking at the head sculpt, this looks really good. Nice clean gold paint over there. With some black and those creases and everything. Very nice black wash on this guy. I think that looks very good. And I love the sculpted outlines on this figure just through and through. It looks magnificent. I'm really digging the deco over here too. It came out very clean. Nice red paint right over there. I really like that gunmetal color for that lower torso. That looks really nice. And zooming back here, I feel like I'm just a little too close to the figure, but you get some really nice lines sculpted in there. Nice attention to detail with the paint, you know, a little bit of extra blue right there. Not 100% sure if that little part was intentional. That looks really good, and I really like how the blades work on this one. A lot better than the first version. Now, the first version, you could swing them back, but they didn't have actual slits for them to go into. So now we do have that, and I think that is awesome. Very, very pleased with that. The hands look great. We get some really nice gold paint right here on his hands. Now, looking at the first version, you can see that they used like this, uh, this white color right there. So then just to sling this back, you can see it moves back, but it doesn't actually slide into a port. Anyway, going back to this guy, though, really good-looking paint over here you know around the hips I really like the red then the legs look really good too just thoroughly sculpted with all these added lines doing another comparison right here you can see like just on the legs they added all these lines right over here that this one does not have even all that extra paint you know that is awesome even on the feet you know you get a lot of extra red 
So that is just super cool. I'm very, very pleased with this figure. I really dig it. Nice ports right there at the bottom of the feet. And here's a last look at the back of the figure. Just sculpted out thoroughly through and through. Now, as I said earlier, I do like the articulation on this figure. You can get him to look down a little bit, and he does look up. And you get some side-to-side -side movement inside here, and you get some really good neck pivot. He has a couple of joints right here. You can see that he has a joint right there, right at the shoulder, so that movement allows him to go outward like that then you also get a hinge right over here too at the arm and that can move in and out just a little bit over there I used a hair dryer on this guy earlier but that joint right there is still a little bit stiff but you can see it moving back and forth and then he does have an elbow bend that meets at 90 degrees it rotates at the elbow and then he rotates a little bit at the wrist right here and it hinges up and down at the wrist you also have a diaphragm joint right here that turns side to side some you also get some pivot and it doesn't really crunch forward too much but it does move back a lot more so you also get a waist joint that turns side to side and you also well uh, no, yeah you get some no not much waist pivot and it doesn't really crunch forward and back so it's mostly just side to side movement I'm noticing just as I was moving this this peg is starting to come off the hinge right there just a little bit so be wary of that and I already talked about how the blades swing in and out uh, you get hip joints that move outward that much and then you can get him to kick forward that far and he does kick backwards he has an upper thigh swivel then he has a single jointed knee that doesn't quite meet 90 degrees and you also get rotation at the knee right there as well and the ankle moves down just a tad moves up only a little bit rotate side to side and you do get some pretty good ankle pivot yeah and for your striker eureka comparison here's the first edition of striker eureka along with the stcc exclusive and then we have the 18 inch version right over here and then you can see how they clearly just downscaled this 18 inch scale one into seven inch form which i thought was a brilliant idea and then here's ultimate striker eureka Compared to Chernow Alpha, we have Crimson Typhoon, and then my personal ultimate Gypsy Danger right here, which is a kit bash from multiple Gypsy Dangers. But you can see this guy is going to fit perfectly on my shelf. And to compare this Jaeger to a Kaiju, here's Leatherback next to Striker Eureka, and I cannot wait for the Mudavor figure to come out. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Eh, for a Jaeger, you're actually quite tiny. So again, I just think this is a fantastic figure. I'm very, very happy with it. I think NECA killed it with this piece. I absolutely love it. And thanks again, NECA, for keeping Pacific Rim alive. It looks like we're not getting a Pacific Rim 2, but I'm very, very happy that we're getting more and more Pacific Rim figures. And if you guys want more and more Shardimus Prime videos, make sure you click any of these boxes right over here if you want more Shard in your face. We've got the subscribe button right over there. Yesterday I did a cool P.O. Box pickups video with some geek feel and some really cool Shard art, so check that button out over there if you want to see that. And a couple days ago, I did a review of the Hasbro Black Series Old Man Han Solo, so you can click that button right over there. And if you're interested in picking up any of the Shardimus Prime t-shirts, we got the Not Dolls and Give It Ankle Pivots over available at ShardimusPrime.net. And if you want to check out a photo gallery of images from this review, you can check them out at ToyNewsEye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures everywhere.